welcome back to my channel today i have muffin with me she is a bit spooked because there was actually dust right in front of her face and it landed on her nose and that dust was dust that came from her own body as she was preening but she freaked out and yeah hopefully she's she's doing fine but like <laughs> that was kind of funny to watch no offense i should be more worried but it was kind of funny to watch does that make me a horrible owner what kind of bird gets scared of their own dust that makes no sense. Don't you think? The intro was a bit long, but getting right back into the video, I know some people are wondering what is cuddle bone. Basically, cuddle bone is cuttlefish that died, and the bone is all that is left. Now, that cuddle bone helps the cuttlefish, you know, helps with buoyancy and stuff inside the water, and then once they're dead, Obviously there's no use for it other than bird owners. Typically what happens is that you could actually find them on when you go to beaches and stuff. You could find them around the sand and stuff and people will pick it up. And then we somehow find them in the market and then we buy them. Now you might be like, what's the benefit? Um, it has essential mineral it has essential minerals but the main reason why many people in the bird community and I think also reptile community the what is she doing? Is she licking me? Are you licking me? Yeah, she's being weird. I can literally hear it. She said, are you grinding her beak? Yeah, she's grinding her beak, by the way. Um, so, she, this is weird. Muffin grinding her beak, but like, why is she putting it on my hijab? What are you doing, buddy? I'm trying to do a video. It's supposed to be professional. Yeah? I could, she's like right beside my ear obviously <laughs> but I could hear her grinding her beak anyway getting right back into it basically the benefit of a cuddle bone is that um, once a bird is dead and then you end up having the cuddle bone you can find them on the beaches and stuff and once you somehow get your hands on it most likely from a pet store or buying it online the benefits uh, for your bird is that it has essential minerals but it also is a good source of calcium um, now calcium deficiency in parrots can happen and it's just a great method and a very easy and expensive method that most people in the bird community use I also know a lot of people in the reptile community who use it um, for their reptiles and it also seems to be working perfectly fine for them um, what budget I think more people see it with budget canaries and even like slightly medium-sized birds um, but larger birds also use them and I've seen many people what they would do is they will get a cuddle bone they'll put it in a blender have it very fine it's almost like a very powdery texture and then add it on their mash so some people if your bird is smaller in size then you might be wondering why is my bird not I don't know using their cuddle bone the reason might be one you're not really seeing it they're not spending the whole day with their cuddle bone or two they just probably aren't using it and you can actually blend it and like I said use it and put it inside their mesh the other thing I would suggest is make sure you remove the wire from the cuddle bone um, I actually got a cuddle bone from a pet shop and the wire was rusting and that's a no no I threw the whole thing away I don't want to use it so if you can try buying a cuddle bone that has no wires and stuff on it it's just better you could just hang it on the cage um, another suggestion I have if you can it's not necessary but if you can try just sticking to the natural stuff I know some uh, cuddle bones are banana flavored and stuff just I don't know personally I would just stick to the natural stuff so that's just my personal preference so the other thing I've seen birds do I see it typically with kiwi and surprisingly muffin um they will go to the cuddle bone and they will start playing with it this is fine it's not it's not the end of the world but if you really want to emphasize on them eating some calcium or having some calcium in their diet like i said you could blend some but they do play with it but i think the advantage of that is it in a way kind of polishes their beak um and it kind of makes their beak a bit smoother um it's also a great way to kind of slightly trim their beak it's not as pointy once you know if you do have a cuddle bone in their cage and if they do play with it their beaks are not as pointy because they're kind of playing with it and uh, you know kind of doing their thing and it it kind of helps 
at least with kiwi and muffin it helps they don't really have issues with having very sharp beak so those are just some of the few benefits of a cuddle bone like i said the main benefit is that it has essential minerals and mainly calcium you could also um i have a video on this use eggshells but again the that's the whole process it's just easier if you go to the pet store get cuddle bone and then have that attached to your bird's cage and yeah <laughs> that's about it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching guys bye bye <music>